Hello to everybody. How are you guys today? This is our new webinar series from Dexma. Um, today we are going to explain how to work with R&D projects in the energy business. That's why here we have today in our panelists, we have our R&D director at Dexma. Hi, how are you, Miguel? Good, good. <laughs> nice to be here. Nice. Thanks, Miguel. Thanks for coming. Then it's me that I'm the product owner. And then here we have today as well Albert Cott from ComSciMT, which is our new partner that we have engaged in, in order to develop that uh, project. Okay. Hi, Hi everybody. Hi, everybody. Uh, good to see you and collaborate with you in this project. Okay, so I think that the, f the first point in our agenda today is the Midnight Soul project. Mm -hmm. That's what we have here, our R&D director, right, Miguel? And you would like to explain to our audience what, yeah. what we've been doing during the last year, year and a half, right? Sure, sure. So it's your time. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. So uh, good afternoon, all of you. Thank you for joining the meeting. Uh, let's start uh, with uh, the summary of uh, Minot Soul project. So, uh, what's the need behind the project? First, um, all of you know that Europe is facing uh, very serious challenges in the energy sector during the coming years. So, there is an increasing need to replace all carbon intensive energy production sources uh, due to climate change concerns, competitiveness, and security of supply. In this context, PV technology is already playing a key role, producing more than 7.5% of energy in Germany and 5% in Italy and Spain. And thanks, mainly thanks to the fact that its costs have been dramatically reduced uh, during the last years. Uh, specifically, um, PV energy is expected to become more and more common in the form of the building integrated PV. Okay. Good. So, yeah, thanks to its easy integration into rooftops and facades, so contributing in Europe's way towards net zero energy buildings. Good. In this context, uh, taking into consideration the request from our partners, we identified an increasing need to provide, by means of our software, new tools capable of measuring energy flows to manage PV self-consumption, and new tools to control energy flows within the building so that we can make the most of the local PV generation. Of course, we couldn't make it uh, alone. So that's totally true, Miguel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, in Dexma, we work in several uh, different segments uh, and different kind of con consumers. So um, that's why we needed to join with a specialist uh, in PV energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, given that uh, Comsa uh, was one of uh, our partners that. Uh, recommended to develop this new uh, PV system, uh, we uh, decided to do a joint collaboration with them and try to, f to find uh, the vehicle to uh, make uh, of this project a reality. Mm -hmm. How? So trying to find uh, external funding. Uh, this external funding uh, at that moment uh, was available in the form of uh, EA grants uh, Innovation Norway. So. This instrument uh, counts with the contribution of Iceland, uh, Liechtenstein, and Norway to reduce economic and social disparities and to strengthen bilateral relations between uh, EU uh, countries in Central and Central Europe and the Baltics. Mm -hmm. So among the projects they promote, they, uh, um, they, there are the environmentally friendly and sustainable solutions where I mean, not so project fit very well. Mm -hmm. Uh, specifically, thanks to this EEA grants instrument, we were able to access a soft loan to support the project uh, with a non-reimbursable part. So that is a kind of, of subsidy at the yeah, end. Yeah, great. That's, that's cool. So bas basically, we've, we've been using a European project to develop new things on top of our platform, right? Exactly. So now our partners can benefit from that. Yeah, that's, that's the point. Uh, the e European Commission has helped us to cover the risk when developing a new product uh, and well the most important thing is what we are going to, to see now that mm -hmm. is okay we had a need uh, we had identified a potential uh, product to solve this need mm -hmm. but not all, all the ways uh, bring us to the, to the best <laughs> solution exactly. okay so because for instance uh, you can fail uh, on, uh, on finding 
the funding required for um, for your project or maybe uh, you can define a working plan that is not uh, properly addressing uh, the problem that you have identified exactly. so what we did given this need uh, try to define along with uh, Comsente the best uh, working package program and the best uh, um, project uh, roadmap so that we can uh, succeed when finding the solution to the problem identified. Mm -hmm. So how did we do that? First, uh, by means of um, working on a working package one on state-of-the-art and regulatory framework in order to uh, further understand which are the regulatory conditions in the different markets that we want to address. That's very important when dealing with photovoltaics and especially when dealing with self-consumption. Mm -hmm. Second step uh, was was to work on the energy modeling and energy balance of uh, the buildings that uh, already include uh, PV using uh, our own database and external uh, papers and reports and state-of-the-art information. The third step uh, was to develop a PV self-conception optimization algorithm that was developed by Comsign the team using their expertise in this sector. This uh, is well, um, what happens if uh, the PV production is higher than uh, my demand? Mm -hmm. What can I do? So, um, as we will see uh, in, in next slides, uh, one thing we can do is to increase our HVAC energy consumption so that uh, our building becomes a thermal battery or our energy excess. So it's like the innovation that we are adopting here is that the, the whole building acts as a battery so we don't have to purchase a new one so we can use the existing building. Exactly, exactly. The, the inertia of the building uh, and uh, the HVAC system uh, can be controllable so uh, we can use uh, the building as a thermal battery at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Good. So uh, the fourth step uh, was to uh, develop a PV enabled energy management system. Uh, in Dexma we were already monitoring some PV uh, sites, but uh, what we've done basically is to develop new, new tools, new interfaces, new configuration options so that we can have a very tailor-made uh, PV solution for um, buildings with uh, self-consumption solutions for building integrated PV. Good. Last step uh, before having the final product was to test uh, the, the new algorithms and the new system in a, in a pilot building here in Barcelona. And uh, yeah, and finally we get um, the final product. So as you can see, it's not an easy way to perform an R&D project, but R&D is, uh, is in our DNA in Dexma. I think it's the same case for, for Comsa. And of course, we are always open, as we did, as we did in this project uh, with Concept, to, to work together with uh, our partners to improve uh, Dexcel Energy Manager. So let's have a look to the product with our uh, product director, Dani. So uh, the floor is yours. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so basically, after we've been developing on that almost like one year and a half, could be more or less, like mm -hmm. over there, and, and Miguel. We, we end up defining no, no only that part of the software that we will see right now, but also a part of hardware, piece of hardware to develop this energy thermal battery mm -hmm. part of the building. But today we will, I, I will be showing to, to you which is the new application that you can benefit from, right? So having mm -hmm. this innovation inside our company end up with a new solar bio application inside our existing platform, inside Dexel. So our partners now, they can purchase it and they can get benefit from that. So that's why Dexel starts walking on sunshine, <laughs> like the, the famous song. That's great. <laughs> so we will we'll present you right now what's the solar view application and what are the main features and, and why is it worth it or not, right? Okay. So basically it's a new application that allows the user to manage the production of the photovoltaic installation and the corresponding self-consumption as well. So you know that Dextel is very based on the consumption on the consumption side, mm -hmm. right? And we were lacking a lot of features for the demand for, for the generation side, right? So photovoltaics, eolics, whatever. So now Dextel opens that new door 
and we start to analyze the solar generation, so the solar photovoltaic uh, generation that they're producing, in order to analyze, okay, how much energy I'm self-consuming, self uh, which is my coverage percentage on top of that. Mm -hmm. How are my PV panels performing? Are, are, are them okay, or do we need to go and, 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 and execute more the maintenance, right? So that kind of things, it's what we can do now with the new solar view application. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you refer to analyze self-consumption uh, and see what's the coverage percentage uh, of the energy consumption, are you talking only about the, the main consumption, the grid tie, or uh -huh. you are also capable of analyzing how the, the coverage is of HVAC, lighting, or other consumptions? Well, we can do what you can select into the application, right? But normally people want to see how much they cover versus the, the general consumption, right? Otherwise, if you configure the application to work under the HVC system, then you can select that device as the main coverage, right? Mm -hmm. So what we can do is analyze the self-consumption on that, analyze the photovoltaic production, comparison between expected production and the actually real consumption that you got. Sounds good. That, that's really important because when you're in, investing in solar photovoltaic, then you want to get as much profit as you can, right? So then you need an application to track if, if that's being uh, real or not. And then we are also adding here new innovation, which is the performance ratio that not all of the existing softwares in the world, they can calculate this. So we are giving you a percentage of the, uh, let's see, the, the performance that you have uh, compared with the total energy that you could be producing, how much you've been producing, in fact, mm -hmm. and then we, we get the performance ratio. Yeah, let, let me say something here. Um, well, the, the decision of introducing the performance ratio uh, on, on the software was mainly uh, because uh, some of the investments or the ESCO projects uh, are relying on this parameter and are uh, making a relation between uh, performance ratio and financials, right, Albert? Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, uh, on, the PV, on the PV installation, it's rather it's really important to look at the performance ratio because it gives you some insight on how the installation is working, not only the PV models, but also, for example, how is performing the inverter? Are you having any problem in your in your wires in your in your infrastructure? Is is your is your installation performing every day in, in the same in the same way? Or for example, there is a shadow that mm -hmm. you did, did not did not discover that, that, that at the moment of the design or the installation, and it's and it's impacting in in your output. Uh, I think that uh, as a PV, let's say we are, we are a company that we have we have a portfolio of PV installations, and uh, in order to optimize the management of them, performance ratio is crucial. It's crucial, so that's why we did it. <laughs> so, uh, and then we have a multi portfolio analysis that we can check it out here. Well, basically, you, you know that Miguel Textile it's it's born to. Um, analyze always multi-portfolio things, right? Mm -hmm. So in that case, uh, we couldn't be less and, and we created, or it's, it's still under development, but it will be there very, very soon. So you can get a very simple view on how your portfolio of photovoltaic installations or self-consumption installations are performing mm -hmm. uh, based into the last seven days average performance ratio, right? Mm -hmm. So in case that you have that kind of portfolio, I would suggest you to Call your team and then go to the first three or four installations to check what's happening. If performance ratio is below 75%, something is happening. Then, then you have a problem. <laughs> sure. So uh, that's why kind of those tools that aggregate information and allows you to see very, very quick where the problem is, solves you a lot of problems and, and makes your team more and more efficient. And you can reduce your cost, so increases your, uh, your, your profit, profitability. That's right. So let's let's move maybe to the software itself. Uh, the following application that I would show you, it's available right now. So you can still go to our demonstration site and you can follow my path as well. In that case, I will be using the corporate building demo account that we have. Okay. So if you just click here into the corporate demonstration, you will see that now into the market, 
into the market apps inside the Excel Energy Manager, we have uh, the new application already available. Let's see. Should be here. He's taking a coffee <laughs> or two. No, no, here we go. All right. So here now you can install your solar view application, right? And and I would like to show you, Miguel, how, how, how it works. Okay, that sounds good. Right. So as soon as you install the application, what you get is two main views. The first one appears on settings. So you have solar view entry menu here, right? And here is where you basically select which building do you want to configure, and then the application needs to understand which device are you going to use to generate the calculations, mm -hmm. okay? So in case that you have a utility meter installed, which is bidirectional, okay, so you can uh, sell energy to the grid and, and buy energy from the grid, then you need to configure which is your utility meter, in case that you just have the total consumption without taking into account the production, mm -hmm. you can configure the location consumption meter, mm -hmm. okay? Then we need to have the solar irradiance, right? Because if we need to go to calculate the performance ratio, then the application needs to understand how big is your potential for that particular day. Exactly, because uh, what, which information do you need to calculate the, the performance ratio? Well, it's the irradiation at that point in your in your geometry so in your installation that basically it's a batch per square meter okay. and that's so important to have it if you wanted to calculate the performance ratio into the application if you don't want to 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 use the performance ratio then you don't need that that parameter exactly okay okay and then from the solar installation what we need to tell to the software is okay which is my device for the solar generation so which one do we have to use and then in case that you have the temperature module for the photovoltaic temperature module, then you can also set it here, right? So it's very, very easy. And then we ask you for a couple of things to uh, understand how big is your installation, then to calculate the performance ratio as well. Uh, the first one is inverter nominal power that goes in kilowatts. So in that case, in that example, we are kind of having close to 100 kilowatt photovoltaic installation of a peak power is about 94 kilowatt peak, okay? So it's pretty high installation, pretty pretty nice. And then if, if you want to compare your uh, real generation versus the forecast generation using PVGs or the, the different tools that are available into the market, we allow you to configure every single month of the year, which is your expected production, okay? okay? So that's all you need to configure to run that, this application into the software. So once the configuration is done, which is really easy, then you just go to analysis screen. And here we have the whole list of different analyses that our partners use day by day to save energy and to analyze and energy to their users. But now, as you have purchased the solar view application, so it appears here, then you have a new tool to analyze, to better analyze your consumption, okay? Basically, the tool is divided in three different pillars, right? So it's self-consumption, it's generation, and it's year comparative. So the first one is the self-consumption tool, where we are comparing, basically, your consumption of the building versus your generation of the building. Mm -hmm. And we are giving you, in a very easy way, when are you consuming from the grid, which is the, the gray color, right? Gray from grid. Mm -hmm. And then we have the green color. It's when you are self-consuming your own energy. You're but more green, right? more green. So you're becoming green here because you're like consuming zero from the grid. But as well, you you have a, a high installation that produces more than that. So you can sell uh, to the grid that energy that is exceeding your consumption, and it appears here in orange color, right? So the the green is for the self consumption, the orange is for the sale, and then the gray is for the grid, and and you can check it out every day of the week or the period that you wanted to analyze. So we can go and analyze the whole March, for instance. And, and we inside Dexel, we can track every hour how the evolution is, right? So you can see that more or less every day you are selling something to the grid. If you want to understand which is your coverage, then you can click on the pie chart, right? And it's very easy because from the total energy that you've been consuming, 
32% of those, it's in, under the self-consumption mode, right? But you're still getting from, from the grid uh, the 46% of, of the total. That's because you can produce energy at night, right? So, <laughs> so that's why. In principle, you, you can. <laughs> you, you can, exactly. Okay, then you can as well export that to Excel, make them a snapshot or whatever that you need to do. And Daniel, this, remain, this reminds me that in some countries, when you sell this kind of energy, you are not reimbursed. You're not, like, like in Spain, you mean? Like in Spain, <laughs> I mean. So that's cool that you can, in a simple pie, you can see how much, uh, how much electricity are you losing. Because if you can translate this orange color into green color, mm -hmm. you are making money. Exactly. exactly. So basically, in Spain, we have that problem that we pay for the sun. Basically, it's like that. So the sun is something for all the humanity, you know, so we have to pay it. And, and we can sell practically to the grid without getting, paying more than, than what we get from, from sale. Exactly. So that's, that's the point, you know. But it's really, really easy to use that application. Go, go. Looking at this, at this fact, we uh, from the R&D decided to go for, for using the HVAC as a thermal battery. Because it's the it's a, it's a usual and a straightforward way to to convert this electricity that it's it's uh, lost, let's say in, in economic in economic terms, into a benefit for the building. Mm -hmm. So if you know at which point of the day you are selling this energy, in, especially in the in this application, it's very clear you are you are showing. You know, on the peak, on the peak moment of the day is when you and when you have more output. Mm -hmm. Then, if we are able to use the HVAC system in a, in a smart way, mm -hmm. we can do a lot of things. Sure, because uh, you can also see a, a matching between uh, time of the day when your PV production is higher and your HVAC and your HVAC consumption is higher. Also, exactly. Right? Well, normally into a photovoltaic system, it, it fits perfectly, right? So at, at noon, at, at 12 a.m. At the, at the morning, mm -hmm. then it's when you have more uh, thermal uh, needs, right? And it's when you're producing the most. Exactly. So that's, that's why we are joining those two ideas and create the midnight solve project for that. Then if we go to generation part, right? So self-consumption is more based on energy, energy comparing your consumption versus your production. Okay. But then what we've created as well is the generation area, which is more the maintenance regarding um, bio, right? So okay. then it's, it's more technical. It's more for, for the partner, right? Yeah, exactly. So that basically, that's, that's crazy because uh, you can check if your photovoltaic system follows the solar irradiance or you have a problem there, right? Okay. So if you pick a... a a day, for instance, then in in yellow we have the power output of my photovoltaic installation, mm -hmm. right? In in purple we have the solar irrad ir irradiance, mm -hmm. okay? And then in blue we have the uh, module temperature, okay? Okay. In order to check if if this is really hot or or not, mm -hmm. because if the uh, PV panel uh, is hot, then uh, your efficiency is decreasing, right? Yes, exactly. So, so we can check it here, for instance, that the blue line uh, goes up and then my yellow uh, suddenly uh, separates from my purple one. Mm -hmm. So this is something that in a very technical perspective, then it's, then it's really easy to track using that kind of applications. And you could maybe fix something into the panel in order to improve your efficiency. Right. I don't know. But that, for instance, Miguel, it's a very typical day for a cloudy day, yeah. you know, because normally uh, the solar profile should be more or less like that, okay? So you have at what point in time the sun rises, then arrives to noon, and it's like producing the maximum energy that you can take, take and then it goes down until the sunset, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So that's the logical profile. But then when, when you're trying to get an idea of why you are not producing energy as you were expecting, uh, then it's because you have clouds or we have days with rain in Barcelona as well. Uh, so then, then it's when an application like that, uh, it really makes sense. 
Sure. Okay. Sure. It's good to see how we can plug everything together in the same screen. So, <laughs> yeah, so it makes it makes much more easy uh, to the partner to analyze if something is wrong or everything is is going well. Yeah, exactly. And 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 you could get as well as many days as you need, right? So if you want to plot, for instance, one particular week and to track exactly what happened during that week, so. You can check that you had, for instance, the, free, the, the first three days of the week were perfect, like not any, any clouds there, but then you have that day, which is th Thursday, uh, that you have many, many clouds here, and then you have that other day here with a different pattern, right? So it's really easy to understand why are they performing good or not. In addition, what, what you can change is this to, daily fre to a daily frequency, so now what we are we are changing the axis and what we are showing you is the total output produced by your system mm -hmm. right so in that particular day 14 of march we've been producing 344 kilowatt hours mm -hmm. and the value in percentage it's the performance okay. ratio okay the famous performance the ratio. famous one <laughs> okay so in that particular day you are close to the minimum ratio that you want to have which is 75 percent in your installation Mm -hmm. But then it suddenly goes up, right? So we, we have days of 83%. Okay. And that's maybe due because of the temperature, because the days that you are you have more shadows, you are you have no daylight in in, 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 in your panels, then your panels get hot and then uh, as you can see the performance ratio peaks at the moment you have uh, less temperature in comparison with other days. Exactly. And that's that's a, that's an issue to have in, in 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 mind when you are maintaining and when you are exploiting BIPV or PV installations. Good, good. So then we can move for the year comparative option of the application. This is very simple, but it's very powerful, right? Because uh, as you are tracking this in real time, then it has sense to track if your total production follows the forecasted energy that you were expecting to have, mm -hmm. right? Because you've been investing money here. Exactly. <laughs> so you need to get benefit from that. So basically we are taking the green line, it's the forecasted energy that you should be performing. Mm -hmm. And then every day we are adding the part that you've been gen generating in that particular day. Mm -hmm. So for instance, in January, we almost fit the target, right? So that's cool. In February, we kind of overpassed the target. Yeah, we had very good weather. Very good weather, weather. exactly. Like like winter, so that's the reason behind that. That's cool. And then we will we will wait until the end of April to have an idea of, of how we will be. Okay, but it seems that we will exceed again. So it's yeah. very good weather here in Barcelona. <laughs> you know. And that's what, if, if you have historical data, then you can compare years versus years, right? So we could start comparing 2010. I don't know if I have five years so far. Mm -hmm. So we could start comparing 2010 uh, until now. So we can get an idea of how much my energy is decreasing because of the aging of the panels, right? Exactly. And you can also see the effects of the climate change. The climate change, <laughs> true, totally <laughs> true. Uh, but then you should be producing more, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> And that's all from my side, maybe. Uh, so it's a very nice tool. It's a tool to track your performance in photovoltaics and your self-consumption. Awesome. I think that it's really nice for our partners. That's why we enter into that European project, because we want to build value on top of our platform. Mm -hmm. And well, we should talk about the prices, maybe. Yeah, I think that we have not mentioned it before. Exactly. So let's let's move go back again to prices yeah so pricing for this application well basically we can we can uh, sell it as a as a pack okay the Dexel energy manager platform plus the solar view platform all all of them together and we have created uh, those three uh, licenses or plans okay so we have the solar view one it's starting at 249 euros per year and it includes Dexel Energy Manager plus the Solar View application. Okay, it comes with one location, so you can create just one building or one installation that you have, uh, up to five data points. So that means production, consumption, solar ir irradiance, power, and okay. temperature. Okay, so it's all that you need for that kind of of project. 
And that's only starting at less than 250 euros per year. Very good price. Yeah, those prices are retail recommended prices. So our partners on top of that get a margin, a good margin on top of that. So that they benefit of being partners with Dexma and with Comsent in that case. Exactly. One of the things that we should mention here is that when we're developing, when we develop something with one of our partners later on, there is a revenue share because uh, the IP is share uh, of the knowledge developed within this project. Exactly. Then we have SolarView Starter as well for one location, but uh, it's the biggest location, like an in industry, okay? That the price is less than 500 euros, 499, 495 per year. Uh, and you can get benefit of the Excel Energy Manager plus the Solar View application just for one location, but with 10 data points, right? So you can add many other things that you have into your installation, HVC, uh, production line. So whatever data point you want to get, whatever variable you want to get, up to 10 variables, you can, you can, you can go there. And what if you want to monitor more than 10 data points? Then we have, you can add more data points for three, three and a half euros per month, okay? Always uh, recommended retail price or retail recommended prices, okay? So, so it seems that uh, solar view starter is more for, uh, let's say, larger buildings like hotels exactly. or supermarkets, while the solar view one, it can be more uh, residential or for smaller tertiary buildings. That's right. Good. And then we have solar view professional, that that's when you have a project in a multi-portfolio, okay? So you have more than one building or one than ma one more than one side mm -hmm. and starts at 995 per year plus 100 euros per location per year okay okay and you can use here infinite locations as many as you want the the, the starting pricing uh, goes with 20 data points and you can add as well more data points starting at 3.5 euros per month okay that's good and you have all the different professional features that Dextel includes like sharing dashboard sharing uh, profiles so all, all of those professional features that, that our professional license includes into the software. Right. And as well, if you want to try it, then you can register into our website, www.dexmatech.com, and try it right now over our free installation. Okay? That's good. And, well, just to remember that, that we've put that 100 euros per location per year. Uh, the data points are not included, and it's an special launch offer. Okay, so if you want to use it right now, you will get benefit from that because uh, in six to one year, maybe we will change prices. So now it's a good time to, to register and, and to get this perfect application at the, at the perfect value. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Daniel. So uh, let's move to the third point of the agenda, right? So now I want to welcome again uh, Mr. Albert Cot, R&D Director of Comsa. Thank you, thank you, Miguel. I'm happy to be here. Good. So first, uh, I, I want to tell that it's been a great pleasure to collaborate with you within this project. I think it's uh, today is a big day because finally we can see. Yes, yeah, there's a lot of effort behind, and uh, the first ideas. I uh, came uh, several years ago. You have to, to, to know that Comsa uh, was one of the first companies that uh, launched PV installation. It's, it was in 1995 wow. in Mataró where we in installed uh, in, in the library of, of, of Mataró, the library of Fabra, one of the first BIPV installations. So it has strained a lot since that moment. <laughs> exactly. It has been a lot of sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, yeah. A lot of sunny days we have. That's good. Have. Okay. So, well, um, I have uh, some questions for you and that I want to share with the audience today. Uh, so, the first question is uh, more uh, a general question, not only for, for Comsa, but also for other uh, companies working in the PV field. So what's the current status of uh, R&D activities on, on the PV sector? Well, I would say that PV sector is a hot sector. Right? The, 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 the silicon technologies are evolving fast, not in terms of, of performance or efficiency, but extremely on reducing costs. No, the the reduction of of, of the module cost it's uh, it's amazing. It it follows a perfect exponential curve, 
and nowadays the the the, well, the target prices are are, are built plenty on on, on on grid parity in most of the parts of the globe mm -hmm. so that launches that on 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 the infrastructure and on the distribution and on the systems behind this PV PV infrastructure there's a lot of, of, of evolution that's great one of the fields for example is battery mm -hmm. uh, I mean uh, also electric vehicles and solutions like Tesla wall are there you know, in our parkings mm -hmm. uh, an hybrid solution of PV battery and electric cars here this is a driver but there are other drivers for example on on uh, the launch of energy efficiency policies inside buildings uh, we have for example the directive about near zero energy building mm -hmm. that's coming next 2018 mm -hmm. Uh, in the private sector for in the public sector in the private sector 2020 and near zero energy building needs for sure a PV installation and not only a PV installation but a smart PV installation I think that in that solids about this fact how we can manage in a smart way mm -hmm. PV generation with them on site management mm -hmm. exactly good so Honestly, I mean, uh, I, now I want you to be to be honest uh, with us because it's something that is also involving Dexma. How would you define the development of the Minnatso project? What's your feeling on that? Yeah, I would say it's a smart project. <laughs> we have been able to uh, hybrid the potential and the power of Dex Dexel platform that's operating in many, many, many buildings more than 10,000 currently in fact then you see the potential of the project we are we are, we are able to to mix the potential of of, of demand monitoring and the, the to have the insight on how the building is performing at a consumption level with the opportunity of the market with at this pv extremely affordable prices and then uh, get the most value in the certain periods of the day, as you know, during the night it's difficult to make profit <laughs> of this, but in the several periods of the day to take the maximum profit of the realization of the solution. I think that need not solve points out at this point. So it sounds like uh, we have the right product in the right moment, right? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, um, yeah, uh, how is going to be the impact of these apps uh, on Comsas the uh, day-to-day work? Well, initially, uh, I mean, the best innovation project is the one that comes from a need. Mm -hmm. And our uh, PV department asked to, to ask to the R&D department, hey guys, could you solve a problem that we are continuously having? I mean, we, we have more than 100 installations mm -hmm. all over Europe, mm -hmm. and what are we lacking in the robust, reliable, uh, a scalable software platform because what we have used is a, a, a in-house solution that uh, it sounds familiar to me. Yeah, it's that an in-house solution that's evolving, but it's just one guy, the only guy in the organization <laughs> who knows exactly. to change exact parts of the code. And once we have an update on the operating system that's a fully nightmare <laughs> during days and nights in order to provide to our existing clients the service that we have committed mm -hmm. and uh, well uh, this is the the typical situation when a company that knows a lot about uh, pv technology mm -hmm. but it's not a software based uh, mm -hmm. company that i would say this is the opportunity to mix the abilities of the dexma software with the knowledge of uh, PV, uh, PV or installation of PV solutions. That's good. So, well, you already mentioned a few of them, but uh, which are the main competitive advantage of the solar app from your perspective? Well, in my opinion, one of them is user-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> well, a competitive advantage, I mean, when you go to technical software and, and you are seeing this software day to day, day to day, day to day, I mean, I'm, I'm putting the hat now of, of, of for example, our, our, our facility managers in the company, you know, they need, they need this kind of, 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 of screen you have shown to me, you know, this multi-site with 
the performance ratio and know in the in the last seven days where is the installation and where is not the installation and how it's evolving and all that, in just one site. Mm -hmm. And then he can go to take a coffee. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. this is the value, the main value for a customer of using SolarView. Of course, afterwards, this first uh, this first approach, uh, there is, of course, a lot of technical technical detail and technical effort behind, especially in the in the performance ratio. It's not a simple ratio to, to, to have, mm -hmm. to define. There are a lot of techna technicalities behind it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, and uh, the let's say the potential of, of the application comes on the demand side management. This information that comes from uh, Dexma, Dexel platform on the on the consumption and internal consumption of the building, linked with the real time generation of the TV panels, gives you the gives you the possibility to optimize your uh, op your building operation. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be the HVAC modulation. It can be the use of a battery. It mm -hmm. can be whatever solution uh, you can find into the market. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, <laughs> this solution is hardware agnostic. That means that the, the entry barriers as an installer to perform and, and to deploy this solution are really low. Mm -hmm. If you are a mid installer with a minimum knowledge on what to do with a PV installation, you can get directly go for solar, so for solar view, I, I strongly recommend it. And and you can use whatever hardware you have, right? Of so you, you don't need to change the hardware to use the solar view. Of course. So you can you can deploy solar view in existing installations. Exactly. Good. So well, thank you. Uh, for <laughs> thank you to you guys, and I hope that this solution will be a, a really blockbuster in the market. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully, we we really trust on, on, on this product and we really want people to to do, uh, to use the demo account that we have set up uh, and uh, yeah hopefully in a couple of months we see that we have uh, sold thousands of licenses of solar view Apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay so if if you want to try it guys so just log into www.dexmatech.com sorry and you will have there the free trial so you can start playing with the application and and send us feedback regarding what do you see about this. And now we will open the questions and answers a period of the webinar. So we have a couple of, well, five to 10 minutes. So in case that there's a lot of questions that we can continue to asking things to, to, to answering things to people. So I, th I think that we have a couple of ones. The, f the first one, it's a partner asking uh, how they can deploy the midnight salt technology into an existing customer. So what are the steps here? Miguel, maybe you can answer. Well, uh, it, it depends uh, first if this uh, final customer has already the Dexel platform installed. Uh, if not, of course, the first thing you have to do is to set up your Excel, uh, your Dexel account, and uh, later on configure. Well, the, um, install uh, the Solar View app by means of the apps market, and then configure. Uh, the characteristics or, or your installation, like mm -hmm. for instance, uh, the PV peak power, uh, the solar irradiation that you uh, are expecting, uh, and then uh, once the solar view app is configured, you can use it for uh, all the applications that Daniel already shown. Um, okay, good. Thanks, thanks, Miguel, on that. Then uh, it. Is, is there a question for Albert that you were explaining that the cost of the PV were exponentially going down, which is nowadays the cost of uh, typical installation? They, they are asking about 50 kilowatts. 50 kilowatts, it's, uh, well, we, had, we should split the cost of the modules and the cost of the installation because depending on the kind of building that the installation may be maybe maybe more 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 expensive or, or, or cheaper it depends. Uh -huh. But the typical ratio now I would say for modules that uh, I would say that modules you can afford it below one euro per watt peak. One euro per watt peak. Less than. Okay, less than. It wow. depends on your 
purchase capacity. And and three years ago, how how much it was? Uh, I would say that or two years ago. Yeah, two years ago it, it was like the double, 1.5, 1.8, and for example, eight years ago it was six. Six times. Six so times. in three years' time, it would go less than fifty cents per kilowatt peak, per watt peak. Yeah, we, this is a little bit the the, the, the target. The price. target. Yeah. Okay. But nice. at these prices, I have to say that most of the markets get uh, grid parity. That means that mm -hmm. the return, considering an uh, an internal internal uh, uh, profitable ratio, mm -hmm. uh, you can reach uh, parity with. Uh, Utility prices. Okay, that so that would be awesome. Like creating is profitable. That's great. So there's there's a question regarding if the alerts generate if, if the application generate alerts uh, regarding the performance ratio. Mm -hmm. That would be so great, right? Nice to have it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are we are always very open. So the roadmap for this project was arriving to have the application as we are seeing it now plus the uh, global portfolio maintenance and that's what we will be developing and delivering to the to the to the to our partners however as any other application or Dexel energy manager it's a live product that we are more than happy to get that kind of feedback and if we see that really has interest into the market and people is requesting to have a performance ratio alert then we will develop it so that's that's not the issue that's not the problem so in, in case that you're interested into the application, despite it, do, it, do, it doesn't has right now at April 2016 the alert, then just contact us and, and we will fill it out, okay? And then it says as well the same partner, it's very user friendly, so, so it's going into your path alert, but it appears that you still to log in into Dexel. There is no widget or report, or is it still yet to come? Well, if you're looking for a widget uh, to calculate the self-consumption, then we don't have it. We have widgets for the consumption and for the production, but, but we don't have a solar bill um, widget. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no a solar bill report because it's the application itself, so you can export this as a snapshot or as a, as a, a snapshot, sorry, or as an Excel spreadsheet, but you can't uh, create a report itself because we don't still have all the feedback into the market to generate the properly report that we would like to have, mm -hmm. okay? So those are the things that we will be introducing into the roadmap as, as soon as we are, we are having the first feedback, as we've been doing always. Okay, so if there is no more questions, then, or you, can, you would like to add something, Albert or Miguel? about the midnight soul or the new projects that we're developing at Dexma? Yeah, well, what I would say is that uh, uh, we are also in, uh, in the road mapping of, of uh, needed applications from a, from a construction company. Mm -hmm. It's the demand side management area. This mm -hmm. field is amazing because combined with solutions like SolarView, it allows you to optimize your, your own consumptions. Mm -hmm. And that's that's crucial because of uh, the electric prices are, are growing up and growing up and growing up. Mm -hmm. And the only way you have to reduce your OPEX costs regarding electric electric uh, costs is to, to mix in a proper way what you generate with when you consume. And that's a follow. That's a line to be followed. That's a line. Exactly. Exactly. Here, uh, I, I can. Uh, I have to agree with you, Abel, because yeah, um, uh, renewable energy sources are a need. Building integrated PB seems to be the future. But the problem with uh, renewable energy sources is that you don't have them when you need them. So here, uh, energy management tools are are the key. So, okay, so as a product owner, I just wanted to thank you to be here connected today into our webinar series. I'm more than happy to launch new things on top of our platform, working together with partners like ComScientist. So thank you so much for that project. Thank you to you guys. And we will see you in next projects that we have together. So stay tuned and follow our newsletter that there is where we uh, post the new webinars that we have. So I think that in two weeks we have a new one. 
So stay there and get time to, to know the, the news of our company. Thank you so much for being there and see you next time. See you guys. Bye.